Oh, danke, Stradom. You know what? We want to look after the whole family. And yes, even though January is coming to an end, I think it's time to reflect because after the adventures of the festive season, you may have some unintentionally encountered opportunities to get um, some unwanted guests in your system. Now, worms are everywhere and can be picked up in the easiest of places, but worry not, it's time to slow down. In fact, show those freeloaders the door because we are joined by Ken View's sub-Saharan self-care marketing lead, Sunday Mbele, who is here to unpack this topic with us. Sunday, it's so great to have you here. Yeah, thanks, Zoe. I remember as a kid, the family, you know, you the whole family had to get deworm because someone was playing in the Standing sand the and started eating the sand. There's always different ways that little ones and adults can get these intestinal worms. Now, Sine, from your point of view, how do we get in contact with it, both kids and adults? Sure, Zoe. So the main thing to remember, I guess, is so intestinal worms, also called soil, soil transmitted helminths. So okay. if you think about soil, as you said, and playing in the sand, these worms that lay their little little eggs in the soil, in the sand, and it can get under your fingernails um, if you're not washing your hands straight away or eating vegetables that haven't been washed or meat that hasn't been cooked properly, then it's very easy to pass those around throughout the whole family. And you're listing these couple of things that a lot of us do. We cook veggies, we don't always wash them properly. Mm. You don't always know who touched and, you know, worked with the meat that you eat and exactly. the sand that the little ones play in. What happens when, you know, these intestinal worms that's in your system, which is normal for a lot of kids to, and families to experience the whole deworming process. Mm. What happens when you don't do that? What happens when it stays in your system? So as you said, um, the, your unwanted guests, mm -hmm. uh, as these worms are in your intestines and they're growing, uh, they're basically eating up your, your nutrients. Um, so you'll get a case of malnutrition. Um, quite a few symptoms we'll speak about later as well. But if they're eating up your nutrients, you're then going to experience potentially anemia, especially if they're eating into that iron. And uh, you'll only have to speak to your healthcare provider about the potential impact of that. So the main thing to know is you're doing, you're eating your breakfast right now, you're doing everything right, eat a balanced diet, and those worms just come in and take all of that away. They disrupt the eco flow mm. and the, the internal system. Now, my next question is what are some of those symptoms because I mean I think as kids parents mm. are quite on a schedule like we need to deworm the whole family but what is the the symptoms that families should be looking out for because I thought you only had to deworm kids I didn't know adults also had to deworm themselves yes yes it is the whole family the symptoms you're going to look out for are sort of you're going to look overall in your intestinal gut area so it can come with diarrhea abdominal pain um, one of the ones specifically with kids is actually an itching in the in the anal area the bum actually area. In the bum area exactly so those are just a couple to look out for you can also look out for some tiredness because now you've got malnutrition and uh, your body isn't functioning the way it should mm. well listen that's where mm. vermox comes in yes. and they make deworming so much easier how often should families be deworming themselves? The WHO actually recommends deworming once to twice a year in what you'd call endemic areas. And endemic areas are anywhere where you've got a prevalence of 20 to 50 percent. Now, that might mean nothing to anybody, <laughs> but in the South African context, uh, areas like KZN, Eastern Cape, Limpopo, Northwest, there's a prevalence of over 50 percent. Okay. So 50 potentially over 50% of people um, are infected with intestinal worms. So there you're looking at at least once or twice a year, um, and that'll help eradicate, at least with Vermox, up to 97%. Of that, of that, of that worm infestation. Now, the beauty of Vermox is it does all the work for you. Mm. I think a lot of people are like, now, how do we deworm the family? Can you just unpack how simplistic the process has been made? Of course, it is a single dose tablet. You're going to go look for your Vermox single dose tablet. Uh, what also makes it really easy is that it's crushable. 
so it is just crush and I think we've got a little segment later to show how easy that is to do put it in some liquid some juice some water and everybody's good to go mom dad brother sister the whole kids, family the whole add family. it to your calendar set a reminder and just is it okay to make it a bit of a habit can you over deworm yourself from a Vermox point of view, if you are following the, if you're following the instructions, always read the little leaflet mm -hmm. inside the packet. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions, obviously speak to your healthcare provider, speak to your pharmacist, speak to your doctor. Oh, incredible. You're just taking the fear out of everything that, you know, a lot of families go through. You mm. take that away and you make it such a simplistic process. Absolutely. Now, I think a lot of families are also wondering, like, is there any way I can stop my kids from getting getting these yeast intestinal worms I mean as a parent you obviously just what you don't want to hold your kids back from no. you know go out have fun experience touch feel play uh, one of the most important things is just to ensure that everybody's washing their hands wash your hands wash your vegetables <laughs> everything that we know about hygiene so live, go and live your best life make sure you're cleaning up afterwards and wherever you're not sure speak to your healthcare professional and uh, Vermox is there as well that help you out if there be any concerns and that is incredible. Just to reiterate, is it for the whole family? Is it suitable for children? Yes. So Vermont is suitable from the ages of 12 months and up. So just when they're starting to crawl around and touch things and put things in their mouths and everything is spreading around, it is suitable from ages 12 months and up. Okay. Well, I know you said you're not going anywhere. There's going to be a little bit of a demo. So Sane, thank you so much for joining us today. And don't feed those extra mouths. Get rid of intestinal worms and create a healthier, happier, environment for your little ones and the whole family to flourish. Don't fall victim to intestinal worms. Use kid-friendly Vermox twice a year and get rid of unwanted guests. Vermox, 